Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Lauren. Happy New Year. I'm actually still filming this in December, but it's gonna be posted in January. So Happy New Year. I hope that your New Year is off to a great start, a positive start. 2020, let's just leave it behind. Obviously not forget about things, learn from them, but we're in a fresh new year. So we're gonna start this one positive. Thank goodness. Um, and hello to all my new subscribers. I know that a couple of videos ago I posted my giveaway and I got a bunch of new subscribers and I really hope that you stay with me on this journey. Um, we talk about beauty and luxury and fashion and all that kind of good stuff. So, so today's video is going to be a handbag collection and I thought it'd be pretty fun to film my collection at the beginning of 2021 and then again at the end of 2021 to see sort of what's changed, what I like, what I sold, what I bought during the year. Um, I did film a video last year with my 2020 collection. I will link it here and then in the description box somewhere. Um, but not a lot has changed, to be completely honest. I picked up sort of three new luxury pieces and then, or luxury handbags, I should say, and then one sort of contemporary piece. And then I did sell one bag, but really, I mean, there's only so many handbags a person can have. Like when I see a, some youtubers with 100 or 200 or 300 bags and like what are you doing with all those bags and like where do you put those bags because honestly i think i have maybe less than 20 and that's way more than i need honestly it's way more than i need so i feel like my collection i've curated to sort of my preferences my lifestyles what i like what i use um and i think in my mind like it's fairly well thought out so Right now in 2021, I can only think of one handbag that I really want and that's the Goyard um, St. Louis GM, the bigger size. I have the PM, which I'll show you. But other than that, like, I can't really think of things that I want, but I'm sure as new handbags and new collections come out, I'll see something that I like. But, you know, I just, I'm pretty content with my collection right now is what I'm trying to say. And plus, I don't have all the money in the world to be spending and buying on all these handbags. Like, Again, sometimes I wonder like, where do people get all this money from? But you know what, to each their own. I'm not here to judge people because if you have the money and it makes you happy and you can do it, then go for it. Your life, no judgment. <laughs> all right, so I am just gonna get started because I can talk forever. Um, I'm gonna go through them chronologically. So the bags that I've had the longest to the bags that I've picked up um, like most recently. So my newest sort of, um, acquisitions or additions to my handbag collection. If you go back and watch my 2020, then you'll see, I did sell, I have sold quite a bit, maybe like four or five handbags. So um, you can also see different handbags that I have sold in the past. Um, but this is my current collection as of 2021. So um, we're gonna start with the Louis Vuitton Twice or the Louis Vuitton Twin Set. Honestly, I have this bag. This is my very first Louis Vuitton handbag. And I went in with, I, I didn't even start with canvas. I went in with the Emprunt leather because honestly, I loved it. Um, so it just has the one flat pocket here. It has a microfiber lining. It has a zippered pocket with the Emprunt um, leather there. And it's fairly sizable, as you can see. And then it has a hidden compartment here, which has like receipts in it. But I always like that compartment because you can put your phone in there and you have easy access to it. But it's also safe and secure because there is like a magnetic, I don't know if you can hear it, there is a magnetic closure. This bag, I still love to this day. Do I use it as much as I used to or um, like as much as other, bags in my collection no but i still really love it like we'll never get rid of this um this is discontinued you can find this on the pre-love market i know they also had a canvas version of it as well but i love the leather and my leather on this handbag has held up so well as you can see so i really like it, it has an adjustable strap it's sort of minimalist i guess you would say and it's functional so that was the first one I bought. And then I have my Gucci Soho Disco. I did a review on this, I think like the last quarter of 2020. So if you wanna see, I've had this now, like I said, for about four years, I think it is over four years, but 
Um, still great. This is a workhorse. If you need a bag that you want to use daily, you want it to be fairly functional, you don't want to have to baby it, this is the bag for you. This one has been through it. Like, And in that video, I sort of show the wear and tear. It's held up pretty nicely for being used so much. Um, this makes a really good travel bag as well. It's very simple. If you're traveling to a place where you don't want to to kind of show the logo is really easy because then you just flip it around and you wear it like this and no one can sort of tell the difference but um i really love this bag i feel like this is a classic i will also never get rid of this and like if you look at it it's still keeping its shape fairly well i've seen some that are like all kind of slouchy and smushed but it still keeps its shape fairly well um so that was this is the second bag and that's the Gucci Soho Disco. And then my first pre-loved item is the Louis Vuitton Montsori MM. So this is the old version because now they obviously have the newer version. I got this off eBay. I will link the seller down below. I've basically bought all my pre-loved pre items from the same seller um, and they're based in Japan but this is like I said in the medium size I did clean it up um, I have a video on how I cleaned it up as well but the patina is so beautiful on this and I use this primarily when I travel so when I'm at the airport I really like to have this just because I feel like it is pretty secure because there is this sort of buckle here and then there's um, the tie on the inside which I usually keep fairly tight so even though it's on my back and I'm carrying it there and I don't always have like you know I can't always keep my eyes on it I feel pretty secure with this handbag um, and I really like it I use this mostly I would say when I travel and then again in the summer this is also really good if you have returns to do because this can fit a ton of stuff in it it's like it's a medium size but it can actually fit quite a bit so if I have some returns to do I'll always like take this backpack and sort of shove it in there but um, I got this for a really good price I think I paid in total with everything 600 close maybe just $600 under 700 for this so I really lucked out I scored with this um, Montserrat and then the next one I have it's so cute is the Saint Laurent or the YSL blogger bag I remember when this was huge and so many people on YouTube had it and I loved it I feel like again kind of like the Gucci um, it's a little bit of a classic they're very sort of similar so they both have like the big tassels on the side obviously the logo on the Gucci is like a little bit more minimalist but um, the YSL I feel like is fairly classic too it's not really in your face uh, I use this for special occasions for weddings uh, I typically tend to wear black or white no not white not white at a wedding sorry black um, or like yeah I just wear black <laughs> I was trying to think if I ever like have worn any other colors when I go to weddings and stuff I really don't wear a lot of color I typically will just like wear black or like a darker gray or something so this tends to go with everything um, and there's one little slip pocket in the back which is really handy the inside it used to fit my older phone because I had like the iPhone 7 but I don't think the phone will oh me you know what this bag never ceases to amaze me so I have the iPhone 11 and it fits in there so that's surprising um, I wouldn't really be able to fit much else but there are card slots on the inside and obviously there's more receipts because I just tend to have receipts in every bag so this is such a great little handbag the leather on it's held up so well too so there's like no markings or anything like that and I was worried because it's a very smooth leather as you can kind of see but this is held up so well um, again I will never get rid of this because this is like my special occasion bag which I didn't get to use at all this year which sucks but I mean that was 2020 um, and then, or I should say this year, I should say last year. And then I picked up this one here, which is the Givenchy Pan... Oh, what is this? The Pandora, but it's the box style. So they have the very soft Pandora, which I did have as well, and I ended up selling it. And then I picked up this sort of version here, which I love. It has like grained 
leather there, very minimalist with the Givenchy. It has a really cool opening, so it opens up like this. Again, a ton of receipts are floating around. This one actually holds a lot, and then um, you can hold it by the handle. You can wear it crossbody. It has adjustable strap. I rarely see people with this handbag, and I just I don't think it's one of Givenchy's you know popular handbags. I think their um, Antigona or Antigona is you know probably one of their most well-known handbags, but I still love this. Do I use it very much? No, and the reason for that being is that because it's like a structured handbag, it tends to, I don't like a ton of really structured handbags. Like if you think about all the other bags that I've shown you, they're pretty sort of soft leather, whereas structured handbags I find can, tie, can kind of get in the way. But I do really love this. Um, I still use it. I think it looks really cool with um, really light denim jeans and like a white shirt like I'm wearing right now, light denim jeans and runners and sneakers, and you can kind of dress it up with this. Um, I do get a lot of compliments on this handbag when I wear it. People are always like, oh, what bag is that? Is it new? And I'm like, no, this bag is actually fairly old, um, but it's held up so well. So that's the Givenchy Pandora box. And then I picked up the, my next pre-loved piece is this one here, which is the Louis Vuitton um, Pochette Accessoire. I picked it up from the same seller. I paid, I think, $200 for this. It was in fairly um, good condition as well. I mean, I've had it now for a couple of years. I could probably clean this. The strap is, I think, in here. Yeah, I have the strap in here as well. Um, I tend to not use the strap. I tend to just um, use this um, as a like a keep all or a catch all in all my bags. So, in like my work bag, I'll put my wallet, my car keys my like little clay everything into this and then i'll put it into my work bag and typically i'll have like a clutch attachment or i've been using this lately because i feel like i don't know i always see so many girls on instagram wearing it like over their shoulder like that and i feel like i need to get into that but i just I don't know, I haven't yet, and I just, I've been wearing hoodies, and this does not fit over a hoodie, this smaller strap, so it fits if I'm just wearing like a t-shirt like this, but um, this is also the older model of the pochette accessoire, so um, the newer model, the strap on it is a little bit longer. I know that these are so hard to find. Again, I was really lucky. I bought it before sort of the hype came back and before a ton of celebrities were wearing this again so like i said i think i paid like 200 dollars for this and like made in france there's not like a stitch out of place there's not a crack the canvas is like in perfect condition if i wanted to i could like replace this i think and then get a new strap and literally it would almost look brand new so Oh, and if you want to know where these bag chains are from, I'll show you another one because I have another SLG or handbag with one on. This is from Next Fashion. I have a whole video with it, but these are sort of like they're really good quality, nice chains. So that's the pochette accessoire. Next handbag, the infamous Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier or Speedy B in a monogram. I say infamous because in my last bag collection video, I had mentioned how I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this or if I was gonna sell it. I actually made a whole video saying, um, like dedicated to this bag as being my biggest handbag regret. And as in life, there were so many different opinions. Some people completely agreed and thought, you know what, if you're not using it, sell it. Other people were saying, you know, get a bag or a base shaper, give it a try. It's a classic, keep it. I do still have it. My whole thought process was that if I didn't use this in the summer at least like four times, I would sell it. But I mean, we were in the middle of a pandemic, so I barely went out. And um, I didn't always use a handbag when I went out. Sometimes I would just take my wallet and my keys and my phone and like shove it in my pocket and then just be out the door because I didn't want to have to think about my handbags, you know, hitting every, like other things and having to sanitize them and things like that. So. Honestly, I don't know if I wore this at all in 2020. <laughs> so 2021 might be the year that I actually sell this habit. You can still see like the indents where it was, you know, packaged because they fold it. So you can see the indents. That's how much 
like it's been used. It's been used maybe less than five times, I think. So that's the um, Speedy B. The next one is one of my favorites still to this day. This is the Loewe Puzzle in the small size. Um, I absolutely love this handbag. <sighs> I've had it now for a few years and it's still one of my favorites. It's just gorgeous. I feel like it's very understated. Not a lot of people know this handbag. Um, I feel like only people that sort of really follow a lot of different collections or know handbags really sort of know what this is um, because I have the white sort of signage there. Sometimes it comes in black, so really, I mean, it's a very sort of minimalist, nondescript handbag when you see it. but. Like for me, when I see people carrying it, I'm like, oh, there's a puzzle bag because I know the shape. Um, I love this. It is just so beautiful. The leather on it is so nice. Um, it's held up so well. It's very functional. Um, it has so much room in here too. You can carry it like this so you can get that kind of like signature kind of puzzle kind of droop or you can wear it on your shoulder. You can wear it crossbody. I tend to wear it crossbody. This is still, I think, one of my favorite handbags. It's just been a go-to for me. And it has a back zip pocket, which I mean. And then the next is the Goyard St. Louis tote in the PM size. I have mine in the classic black. I still love this. The handles still stand up. I do have this filled when I'm not using it just because I want it to keep its shape. But um, I bought this in Chicago. Was it Chicago? Yeah, I bought it in Chicago. You can see the wear on the bottom is essentially non-existent. This is held up so nicely. I know that a lot of people were talking about how the leather will begin to crack. I have no cracks or like really any sign of wear on the leather. It looks pretty brand new. So I really love this bag. I do want to get it in the larger size. Um, the GM in the classic kind of brown leather. So it'll be the exact same, I think, but with the brown leather on top. The Gucci bum bag still that is meant for kids. So I bought it from the kids collection. I think this was, I don't know, under $500 because it is a kid size. I like to wear this in the summer with jean shorts, t-shirts. I think it's super cute. Um, and it does actually fit quite a bit compared like price point compared to um, like an actual Gucci bum bag. This is significantly cheaper and I do like the little pattern and print on it. And then my other bum bag I bought right after that. Um, I bought this last year for Boxing Day and this is by Moschino and I just think this one is super cool. I like to wear this one sort of cross body like this, whereas with the Gucci, I tend to wear the Gucci one like as an actual bum bag. This one I wear cross body. Um, I like it, I know it's a little bit loud. I know it's not for everybody because it says like Moschino right there on the front and has like a lot of hardware, but because I wear, you know, black, gray or white kind of colors, very neutral, I find that this is just like a nice little accessory to have, so I really like this. So after the bum bag, I bought the Burberry E Canvas Tote, and I don't have it here to show you because I ended up selling it. Um, I will put a picture somewhere here, but I had bought that. I was really into Burberry as a brand because I really liked their sustainability um, initiative, and I wanted to get into more sustainable luxury goods. Um, but the handbag just didn't work for me. Unlike the Goyard, which is, like, it's obviously filled right now, but it's still very smushy. Like, the bottom, you can smush it just, like, molds to your body. The Burberry one was very similar to, like, the on-the-go tote from Louis Vuitton. It's very structured, and it just was not comfortable underneath my shoulder. The shoulder drop was great, but just, it was too large to wear as a shoulder bag, and that's typically how I would wear it. I'd never sort of carry it. Um, so I ended up selling that. So that is now gone. So the next handbag I have is this little cutie here. And this is the Louis Vuitton Nice in the nano size. Um, I use this one as a handbag. As you can see, I have like my straps on it. And I just got these attachments from um, Amazon. This is the other strap I was talking to you about from Next Fashion. If you're interested, I'll have it linked down below. But I use this as a handbag itself. Um, I know it's just supposed to be sort of 
use for your cosmetics and your toiletries, but I love it as a little handbag. So I haven't had a chance to wear this as much as I would have wanted to, like I said, because of the pandemic last year. Um, but I'm hoping that I can also use this um, sort of interchangeably with the blogger bag. It's sort of being like a little bit of my more formal um, dressier type of bag. So I think it's so cute. Okay, I'm almost done. I swear. I swear. I swear. Um, the next one I have here is what I'm using currently. So that's why it's stuffed. I love this bag. This is called the Balenciaga Everyday Tote in the extra, extra small size. It comes in multiple different sizes and colors. I have it in this mink color, which is coming up a bit more kind of brownish, but I would say in real life, it's more of like a grayish, maybe like this color that you're kind of seeing right there. It's like a gray kind of beigey color. I really love it. I love that it has handles so you could carry it and you could remove this strap if you wanted to, but it's really helpful being in my car when I just need to grab it um, these handles here are so smart, but like I said, you could also wear it as a crossbody. I love this. It's just, it's small, but it holds so much. And I feel like even though it doesn't have like a snap closure, I don't feel like it's not secure because I tend to wear my bag sort of in front of me when it's crossbody. Um, so I really love this. I got this off matches, a really great deal. Like I said, I really love matches. So, and this is the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. Um, in the small size, like I said, I just use this for work. I might use it when I travel um, or go on like a day trip, but it's just like a big open tote. It is canvas. Um, he, some people had asked me if lint gets attracted to it. I do have a cat. So yes, um, there is some lint on it, but I mean, I'm not really concerned about that too much. It is very light. It fits my MacBook Air for work in it. So I really do like this. Um, for the price point, I got this like it's under $200 in the US. I also got for under $200 here in Canada. I think it's like a fairly affordable type of book bag. So that's a Marc Jacobs tote bag. Okay, so this is called the Balenciaga Neo Classic Nano Top Handle Bag. And I got mine in the kind of faux croc. Um, it's really nice. It says Balenciaga sort of right there, but it does have that classic sort of moto shape that Balenciaga is known for. So I really love that they're bringing these back, but they've kind of changed the shape so that it, you can get it in this leather now where it's more structured, whereas typically the city or the classic bags, whatever you want to call it, the moto bags were like a very sort of soft leather that sort of like got really smushy over time. It didn't really hold its shape, whereas this one does. So. This is my newest handbag. It's so cute, it's so tiny, but um, I'll link the video. I have videos for every single one of these bags, so if you want to see more or learn more about it, you can always check them out on my channel, but I just put my phone in there to show you that it does fit my phone. Um, if it's my card holder, which I also had in there at the same time, if it's my keys. So it's tiny, but it's mighty. So this is my newest handbag, and then that completes my 2021 handbag collection for the beginning of this year. I'm really excited. Um, like I said, I'm not sure sort of what handbags I really wanna get other than the St. Louis tote, but I am um, excited to see what collections Louis Vuitton comes out with, um, as well as Balenciaga, because my last two bags have been Balenciaga. So that is it. I am tired. My foot is numb right now, so I gotta go. But um, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying healthy and safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.